Well, uh, players have been aware that we're maybe building to something big, and they're right. So the story is kind of leading to a huge culmination on a world Doug. that we are excited to announce today. And that world is called... Doug, you're killing us! ...by many people. Doug. An exciting world and beloved world of magic. Doug, what is it? It's Ravnica. <gasps> yes! Ravnica! Awesome. Oh my goodness! Are you? Desperation is a stinky cologne. Return to the return to Ravnica. Correct. Return to the return to Ravnica. Correct. Return to the return to Ravnica. Correct. So it's the same Ravnica you know and love, but just with a little twist. So the first thing you'll see in the artwork in general is a change of seasons. It is now autumn on Ravnica. That's your big bold announcement? Holy shit. Wait, wait, guys. I know we've been to Ravnica not once, not twice, but now thrice. But wait, 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 wait. Start putting your money aside now because it's fall. Return to the return to Ravnica. <laughs> Two brand new cards never before seen from Battle Bond. Check them out. Pure, imaginative rascal, and toothy, Imaginary friend. Are you kidding me? An imaginary friend card? I guess this is what you can expect from grown adults with the minds of children. And what's with this fucking art? Enjoy your Wakanda comic book. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Gruul, of course, uh, being the anarchists of Ravnica. We just, it's unapologetically balls to the wall inspired by the 70s, 80s punk scene. You need a piercing to get in. You need a dozen piercings to get in. <laughs> and a mohawk. Yes. And apparently you, all you need to do is have seen Mad Max because that's the level of creativity we're getting from this art direction. Return to the return to Max. <laughs> It's the same Ravnica you know and love, but just with a little twist. Return to the return to Ravnica. So the first thing you'll see in the artwork in general is a change of seasons. It is now autumn on Ravnica. I mean, I don't know what else to say. The SJW ideology has finally completely killed creativity in Magic. I know I try to keep these videos on the quartering, but I just, this is, we have reached peak fucking Marvel right now, where if you look at the actual, like, remember how everyone made fun of Heather Antos for putting herself in her own comic book? That's exactly what they're doing with the Battle Bond pack. So they have this blue haired, hipster looking chick with a half sleeve of totally woke tattoos. The art direction is fucking garbage, childish. I mean, are you serious with the imaginary friend bit? I mean, seriously, this is exactly what happens when you have, when you hire members of the community that send out tweets about bullshit, like white privilege, like members of the R and D team at wizards of the coast have done in the past. I mean, this is, I don't know what else to tell you. I have been saying for over a year now, and you would not be surprised, most of you, by just how many people have emailed me in the past six months and say, damn, dude, you were right. 
I just received about a six page email today about just that very thing. I told you this is what SJWs do to your hobby. They fucking kill it. They are incapable of creating anything. They can only come in, take over, and destroy. Why do you think Marvel Comics is in the shape it is? Where, where are all these new and exciting IPs? No, you hire these type of p people that think this way, and they come and they say, well, instead of coming up with a new uh, strong character, let's just make Hulk a woman. People will love it. You know, I know Squirrel Girl is really selling great. You know, let's, let's turn Captain America into a Nazi. That's really woke. Let's make all of our comic books about how white men are, are trash. These are the same people that work at Wizards of the Coast. Look at Mark Rosewater's Twitter. He has an obsession, an obsession with a cancerous ideology. When the person in charge of the company is tweeting about white men having privilege... When 90%, 95 to 98% of the players that play your game are white and male, you have a problem. You have the creators of your game openly disliking its customers. This is exactly, exactly what happened to Marvel Comics and is happening to Magic. And I told you this shit was going to happen. I told you all. And a lot of you listened. A lot of you did. And a lot of you have joined the fight against this. Magic sales down 20, almost 25% year over year. Now, is it all the SJW ideology? No, but you hire idiots that obsess about that kind of shit and they churn out bad product. And now they've gone complete desperation mode. They're trying to do Ravnica again. They're trying to capture lightning in a bottle again like they did with Return to Ravnica because SJWs are not creative. They don't know how to create new things. Why do you think the last eight fucking sets have been trash? But you know what? They're trotting out that International Woman's Day banner on their Facebook. They're making sure to tell us players about privilege. This is not a coincidence, people. Those who obsess over social justice are low IQ. They are lazy. Look at that panel. You could have just as easily called it millennials talk about how paying college loans is problematic. You, you look like you got your clothes out of a fucking garbage can and you're doing a press release announcing two sets of magic. Could you put on a shirt that looks like you washed it? I mean, maybe. Could one of you not look like you just rolled out of bed? This is not professional, and this is what these type of people churn out. Shitty card quality. Sending the D&D monster, the latest D&D book out with all sorts of errors. Because these people aren't good. They're garbage people with the right beliefs. The right beliefs. And while they've been concerned about inclusion and getting woke, sales are plummeting. And now you get the ultimate Hail Mary pass going back to Ravnica for the third time after you looked already desperate going back to Dominaria. And then you roll out a garbage product like Battle Bond. Are you fucking kidding me? Battle Bond is trash. It's trash. Why don't you just roll out another unset? Or I don't know. Why don't you put out products that are good? Two-headed giant fucking product. Are you kidding me? It's just another lame-ass conspiracy product. The first one was fine. Fine. But this is what happens. We are now at peak Marvel. You're going to see these sets fail miserably because they can't create anything new. That's their big art direction. Hey, guys, let's steal the art from Mad Max and let's change the season Ravnica's in. That's really going to get people to the store to buy $4 booster packs. I'm mad because I love this game. I'm mad because I knew this would happen and nothing stopped it. They are going to continue to drive this game into the fucking ground.